What is going on, my sneaky brothers and sisters? Welcome to the Thief Simulator 2 Prologue. I really enjoyed the first Thief Simulator. I played it a long time ago. So I figured, well, but there's a prologue for the number two. So let's go check this out and see if it's going to live up to the hype. I bet it does. There's even a fantastic VR version for you, for you VR fiends out there. Two days earlier, I didn't even know we started. Private number. Can't move yet. Your location has been compromised. Get out of here now. Oh, so this is this is the old house in Thief Sim. Oh yeah, like look. I saw him. Uh oh. Got you, bastard. I was caught. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Load checkpoint. <laughs> I was too busy trying to trying to see if I could steal from myself. <laughs> Your location has been compromised. Get out of here now. You okay? We're out of here. Oh, it wants me to check the cameras. Okay, chucked. Let's go. Get through the window. Flashlight, a crowbar. He's not here. Key to the back gate. Check the back guard. See you later. See you later. See you later, nerds. All I need is my flashlight and a crowbar, and I'm good to go. Will never catch me alive. Rain allows you to sneak more easily as it's harder to hear your footsteps. Well, that makes sense. Escape the assassins. If you're ever in trouble, you know where to find me. It's our boy. That seems a little laggy for me. All right. Use. Get into 102 and find my friend. Interact crouch tutorial. I need to fix that crouch button. That's, there we go. That's taken care of. Can't do that. Stay out of camera views. Easy. Ah, this all looks so familiar and I love it. Hiding spaces. Leaves a good burger out here. Lockpick, glass. Get to 102 and find my friend. Ooh, box. Thanks, friend. Anything else to steal from our friend here? A radio? How much is... Where's my inventory? Items. What's my weight? 15 kilos. I'll just take everything for now. It's experience, you know? Tupperware. Toaster. These are heavy, heavy things. Like, why is a toaster that heavy? Like three kilos? That's pretty heavy. A clock. A vase. Calculator. Yeah. I gotta be able to do the math when I'm selling, okay? Need a calculator. No. No.
Okay. Toilet paper. I mean, uh, this is obviously pre-pandemic because otherwise that toilet paper would be very expensive. Could have came in through the window, apparently. Definitely didn't notice. All right, this is a pretty empty room, except for maybe this medicine cabinet. Nope, also empty. Okay. Wooden decor. A key to the front gate. Candelabra. Read this. I see you. I saw you sneaking. Huh? You survived. That's good. I thought you took my warning call for a prank and went for an eternal sleep. <laughs> so they got to you. Huh? Well, I wouldn't expect to steal half a mil from a mafia and start a new life without an issue. They didn't get you this time, so big chance they're on their way to your family in Ohio at this very second. Since we've both done our part in this whole thing, I gotta save your ass, because if I don't, once they find you and torture you for a bit, you will probably spill some info about me. And that can't happen. I've got a place for you to crash. I don't know what these are worth. I'm gonna assume a teapot. Wanted on Black Bay. I'm going to say dump a teapot. I don't know how to dump it, though. Drop it. And a toaster. And until yeah. the heat dies, take whatever you want from the shed. I don't care. Then leave. I'll call you later. Take what I want from the shed. I can hide under the bed. Maybe I can't climb out that window from here. Okay, so I've got the gate key. It said from the shed, but I didn't see a shed, did you? I think it just, me he means the house. I think he's just calling the house a shed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, double check my bag. Make sure I'm full. No, I can do two and a half kilos. I'll be right back. All right. I took the lamp. So I should just have like half a kilo left. So that's good. What's this? Oh, wait. I can just store stuff. Be right back. I picked up this giant painting off the wall. I need to go put it in the car, I think. I also grabbed a few other things. Let's get to the trunk. Not sure. How to put this away. There we go. Got it in. Took a weird angle to get there. A brick. Oh, like I can just throw the brick at something. Okay. Okay, I think I got everything. It's a nice little pillage. All right, so where am I going? It says to flee. Map. Don't have a map to look at. Okay, guess I just go this way. Place a micro camera in the mailbox and wait 24 hours to discover when the tenants leave the home. Okay. Okay, so same as before, you just kind of have to leave the the map. And then you can choose where you want to go. Okay. Easy peasy. Thief advancement. Yeah, so look, we got a ton of experience on that. You leveled up. Use some of your points and skills. Awesome. We got a thief rating of A. Maybe I missed something. Maybe S isn't the highest. No special points, got some experience, got a five star for stealth. This place up. should be safe for now. Before we deal with the whole mafia situation, I need one thing done, okay? We'll be quick, I promise. Check the computer. Check the computer. Just checking the outskirts here, see if there's anything decent here for me. Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Mail. I don't like that near my, that close to my house. Jewelry table. A locker so I can store stuff in. 
actually with that well it sh I should be driving my my car to go sell things so cameras nice is there anything for me to steal in my own home all right let's check the computer we'll need to steal some things from some people if we want to survive i will clue you on my plan later but here's steel gear all sorts of useful tools can be bought here okay on rock tips, you can buy information about houses, loot locations, security systems, tenant routines, etc. Gather all info about 102, free of charge. Nice. Check out Black Bay. You can sell items you stole through there. They sometimes offer much better prices than the pawn shop, so keep an eye out. Sell items you stole through there. They sometimes offer better prices. Okay. You'll need more experience before we break into 103. Accept the first task and get off the PC. Smash a few things. Okay. Accept that. Okay, so let me... When you steal things and complete jobs, you get experience. With enough experience, you can learn new skills, such as lockpicking. We'll need that to get into 103. Why there? I'll explain later. Get to 102 and complete the job you... Uh, am I full? I'm full. Just accepted. Should be rather easy. Also, you could use some help from my friend. She can carry heavy things to your car and stuff like that. Just use the phone to call her up. Okay, interesting. So let's go to the Black Bay here and see what we can sell. So I can set a frying pan for 75 bucks and 10 XP. Frying pan and a teapot. Okay, so it's like a combination of things. Pot, toaster, and a knife holder. So if I find a knife holder and a blender, I can finish these off. Valuables, vintage typewriter, other vase, vase, and a head statue. Okay. So some of these things I might just be more th worthwhile to put in here. Okay. Time to head back to the house. So we need to go to 102. And it's just where we were previously. So obviously this is where we were. So I just need to complete the same kind of tasks again. So let me see notes. Where can I see my task? Loot alarm on a drawer in the bedroom. Oh, did I forget the alarm last time? Maybe. Smash a few things, $250 in XP. Okay. So, I wonder how I get my crowbar out. Not sure. So I have the key, so I can just, you know, get in here. Same with this, we know everything's open. So it's like smash a few things. My question is, is some of the stuff back here, like the toasters here? The wines here again. I think it's all the same stuff, so we just kind of get the double down on the loot. A pot, teapot, a pan, another pot and a wine bottle, this picture. Not sure how to put this away yet. All right, so I did the same thing where I just kind of put it in the car. I'm not sure if it went in or not though, but I guess we'll find out when we go to the pawn shop later. Oh, H is controls, interact, tab, quick select. Aha, uh -huh. crowbar. Boz, oh, I should have put all my stuff away. Whoopsies, that's all right. Calculator, check. I think these were empty. Yep. 
Smash. I love these little destroy routines. That's pretty fun. Guess I can't smash his tub. Unfortunate. Smash that. Break his fence. F your fence, boy. I'll go in in a second. Ooh, a little ivy. Can climb that with level one agility. Very nice. Ooh, money. Yeah, everything is still in the same exact spot. Just gonna... Put all this over here. Oops, not the crowbar. Want the crowbar. Flashlights on F. Mission complete. Uh oh. Someone called the cops. Get the heck out of there. They're here. I want to hide under the bed. See how this goes. So I can kind of hear him pitter pattering around outside. He hasn't come into the bedroom or anything, but keep an eye on him. All right, and that's that's that. They didn't even come in. Good, you're safe. A basic thief skill is to put together people's routines. You gotta learn that. There's something about like an alarm clock on a bedside table. Notes. Oh, I've already got it. Alarm on a on a drawer in the bedroom. Okay. Very well. Nothing else. Left the door wide open, of course, because why not? We don't care. Not our house, not our problem. Oh, and a wall clock. I almost forgot the wall clock. Whew. That would have been embarrassing. All right, time to go. Learn the marking skill. Time to skadoodle bob on out of here. Nice little thiefy day. All right, let's go to the pawn shop. Each new item you steal j brings you 10 times more experience. Okay. Once you gain a new level, use the acquired skills. Yeah. So like I already stole all these before, so I got less experience. Well, how about What's up, that? big guy? Like the vase, the candelabra and the wall clock. Sell all of these. Go grab the other stuff. So I don't think I was putting the stuff in my car the right way. Because I don't have those big pictures. So maybe I can't take those with me? I'm not sure. Yeah, I definitely don't see like a way to open up my trunk. Unless it's a front trunk. It's not a front trunk. In the car, change camera, change song, open inventory. Nope, it's not it. Very well. Uh, let's sell all of this. All right, cool. So that's done. I can learn some skills here. Decreases people's hearing range by a meter. That's pretty useful. These require special points. Highlights tenants by looking at them and learn their routine. Spot cameras. Yeah, that looks like it's the first thing I have to take, so let's learn it. Allows you to pick easy locks with a basic lock picking tool. Learn it. Okay. And no special points, so that's good. Good, good. Time to find out when our friend from 103 goes on his daily shopping. Go near his house to a marked spot, preferably around 5 in the morning. Okay. Let's go to Madison Street. 
These books can be found in houses. Finding them grants a, a skill point. They also contain some cool tips. Okay, maybe those are the special skill points in that lovely book. All right, so what are, 103 is our mark. I wonder... Okay, new tutorial passing time. You can either sleep at your house or rest in your car at the nearest parking lot. Okay. This is a parking lot. Not great driving skills here, but I can park here. He said preferably around five in the morning. Pass the time till 5 a.m. I like that. Love when time is a factor in games like this. It just makes it feel so much more immersive. Okay, quit. Get out of the car. The hell was that? Learn habits. Okay, it seems he leaves at seven. You can always check your journal to view all hints, missions, and routines. For now, you gotta learn to lockpick basic locks. If you okay. don't have the experience, steal some more from 102. There's a test lock in your hideout I want you to try out. Okay. So we gotta go buy the basic lockpick sec now. So let's get in the car and head home. Let's buy us that lockpick sec set. Basic lockpick, buy it. How much money do I have? 800 bucks. I'll buy two just in case. I'm not sure how these work. Maybe three. I'll buy three just in case because I don't know how these work. So now I could go to get Rob tips on house 103 here. Information about loot. So like I know a projector's in a drawer in the bedroom. And let's just buy his routines here. So I can enter through a ladder in the back garden. There's a power switch inside. Switches off cameras. There's a camera in the back garden. Mail tenant leaves at seven and comes back at noon. A projector's in the drawer. Okay. This. Oh, lock picking one. Basic lock pick. So let's try this out. So. To pick a lock with this tool you just bought, use the mouse to position the rod and then hold D to rotate the lock. If the angle's correct, the lock will turn. If, but if not, it will get stuck. If it gets stuck, try to reposition the rod. Got it. Okay. Time to get it on. Break into 103 and find the parcel code. Dude had a delivery that might help us solve our mafia issue. Let's go. Let's get her done. My brothers and sisters, if you're loving these little thief sims, make sure you smash that like button down below. And when this game does launch, we can absolutely keep this fun rolling by getting all that good, good loot. He's leaving now. to park up here make sure he doesn't really see us but I know I can get in oh this is the camera that it was that we when we first started here got it time is it can I, where can I see the time um 8 30 in the bottom left corner okay can't steal the gnome he'll be back at noon time so we do got to be quick about this who just leaves cash out here thank you appreciate it though all right so let me check the notes on 103 this is the safe house loot is a projector we don't have a mission you can enter okay This the Where's the bathroom?
bathroom. I can enter through a ladder in the back garden. There's a power switch. Maybe the door is just open. It is open. Got him. Okay. I know about the projector. This is the turn off the camera so I can have a good escape out of there. Globe. That's new. I do need a head statue. Head statue is part of one of our missions for the black market. Can I see the black market from here? I don't think so. No. No, I cannot. What wine? Do you need a blender as well? There's a blender. Frying pan I know is worth 12 bucks. I like how it tells me what the dollar roonies are once I've unlocked it. That's nice. No. If I was a thief, I'd definitely be eating some of their food. Wi-Fi adapter. Sounds pretty useful. Abacus. There's the projector. All right, I'm full. What does this say? I sent you some notes about their storage unit unit's coordinates and all names of stuff they got stored in there. But just remember, man, it's a brutal mob and we can't be comp breaking in there. We got to plan it right. One, six, one, six, one. Okay. I think I need this way to get out. Could have hit at 102 a little awkward way to run back but this is okay for the moment what time is it i've got an hour i want to get back in there and loot a bit more and then get out again the first thing i just want to do is just dump all of this i wish there was like a dump all loot button you know what i mean Then, uh, can I just like jump over this? No, you can't. Worst thief ever. Can't jump. Okay. Get my hands out. Yep, I gotta pay attention to the time here. I know, I know, I know. Abacus. I need a... I need a uh, lock picking two to get that safe open so we can come back for that eventually. Money. Alarm clock. I got the key to his house. Awesome. Got it. I'm going to bring this over here and then bring the car around. Let's see if I can figure out how to get rid of this. All right. As I was driving, the tenant called the police just because he noticed a break in. So that's okay, though. We knew that was going to happen. I also had to pay $14 to repair my car. I think I broke the painting, though, because I was panicking as I drove up in here. Yeah. Definitely broke the painting. <laughs> it says I can escape, so why don't I just get out of here? They're not on to me. So I can just go. So long, a donkey. I'm going to go to the hideout first. They see you and escape the next time you rob them. I missed that. So no special points. We got an A. We leveled up. Continue. So now with this, if I come over here, I want to see what were some of the other 
black bay item. So toaster blender, send it. Pot toaster knife holder. I wonder if he had a knife holder. If he did, I definitely missed it. Headphones and a flash drive. I don't have the headphones, but we can put the flash drive away. Vintage typewriter, vase, vase, head statue. Send that out. Awesome. So it looks like I just need to hold a pot toaster and the USB flash drive. Everything else I don't have a means for right now. So if I go pot Yep, that's it for that. That's pot toast, pot toaster and the USB drive. So if I go alarm clocks in here, table lamp, oh, it's full. The, let me take out the Wi-Fi adapter. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Everything else can just be sold. So let's head back inside. Just put this away. So I've got the pot, the Wi-Fi adapter. I feel like there was something else. What am I missing? Black Bay. Toaster. I don't think I have a toaster. I'll see if I have a toaster. I doubt it though. I think I'm fresh at plum out of toasters. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's go sell our loot and then we'll call this one a wrap here. And we'll come back and finish this prologue in the next episode. So brothers and sisters, like I'm always telling you, if you're loving it, show that love by smashing that like button down below. Double check in to make sure you are subscribed well, as well. So you can always be back that? here for that sweet, shabby content. Let's see. Radios worth 30. Calculators are only worth five bucks, but they're, they're, they weighed literally nothing. So it doesn't matter. And then let's just grab everything else out of here. Let's see what all, all these things are kind of worth. Alarm clocks are worth 40. That's nice. The vase is pretty cheap. Pot. The wine's good. Candelabra, meh. Globes, meh. Frying pans, meh. Projector, $100 Roonies. And Abacus, also meh. Sell them all. Ship it, baby. You don't have anything to buy. What a rip off. What a rip off. But all right, brothers and sisters, we'll be back in the next one to continue this lovely prologue adventure. So as usual, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.